beauty of your holiness. Uh, Father, we magnify your matchless we magnify name. Uh, your we give you glory. Uh, we, we give, give you glory, honor. Give we, honor. My, mighty Father, we bless your name bless this morning. Name. Uh, we exalt your name this morning. Uh, we worship the King of Kings and this the Lord, Lord of this Lords, Lords this morning. Uh, we acknowledge your Lordship, O oh Father, Lordship, in our Lord. lives. And Father, over everything that you have placed us oh, steward hallelujah. over this morning. Uh, yes, Father, Lord. we acknowledge your Lordship for you are the same God yesterday, uh, God. today, and will continue to be forevermore be this morning, O oh yes, Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, and we humble ourselves this morning uh, under hallelujah. your mighty hands of grace. Uh, we are thanking yes, you for Lord. life you, this Jesus. morning. Uh, we are thanking you for hallelujah. good health uh, and for strength. Uh, and Father, even, O oh, Father, Christ. being in the land of the living this morning, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Father, Lord. we are thanking you for your grace uh, and your new mercies, O oh, Father, yes, which we experience from day to day, O oh God. God. We are thanking you for your preservation. Praise we are thanking you, O oh Father, for your mighty delivering power this morning. Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus, as your people have gathered together in agreement this morning, O oh Father, to have fellowship with you. Father, we are in one accord, in oneness of mind, and in oneness of spirit this morning. Father, Lord, with the same purpose, O oh God, and that is to lift up the name of our Lord and Savior Praise Jesus Lord, Christ, uh, to exalt his matchless name, uh, to give honor and glory uh, unto our heavenly Father, as we acknowledge, O oh God, uh, Lord, your Holy Spirit this morning. Uh, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, uh, we release the power of your anointing, O oh Father, in respective homes, uh, Father, in the hospital rooms, uh, on the job places this morning, uh, wheresoever they are located at, uh, we release the power of your anointing in the name of Jesus, uh, and we break every yoke of the enemy, uh, for it's not by might, neither it's by power, but it's by your spirit this morning. Uh. Father, we bind principalities and powers in the name of Jesus. Uh. We bind rulers of darkness uh, and spiritual wickedness in high places this morning. Uh. In the name of Jesus, uh, we saturate the, un the atmosphere, oh God, uh, under the blood of Jesus Christ uh, and under the anointing of his Holy Spirit this morning. Morning, uh, we saturate the very airwaves this morning uh, under the blood of Jesus Christ uh, and under the anointing of His Holy Spirit this morning. Uh, touch lives this morning, uh, oh, restore Lord. this morning, bring Father, deliverance, bring Christ. peace, Thanks, bring Jesus. comfort, O oh Father, Hallelujah. through the power of Your spoken words, O oh yes, Father. Lord, yes, Lord. Lord, we claim the unction to function yes, this Lord, morning yes, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Uh, you be glorified this morning, O oh yes, God. Lord, yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we in pray. Jesus, mighty name. And everybody say, Amen, amen and amen. amen. Praise amen. the name of the Lord. Believers, amen. this morning, Praise my God, the it's the first day of the week. And the Bible says that upon the first day of the week, my God, the disciples, my God, they would come together, my God, to break bread and to have fellowship, my God, with one another. Praise the name of the Lord. They would have communion and they would have, my God, divine fellowship with one another. Praise the name of the Lord. With Jesus Christ being the focal point of everything, the breaking of the bread of life, which is the word of God because it's the beginning of the week believers my God we oh, need hallelujah. that my God we need that sustenance we need that strength my God should the Lord tarry to carry us through praise, praise the name the of the Lord. the Lord my God we are at the beginning of the week praise the name of the Lord my God and you know I love the the, the I should say the analogy I wonder if the word is correct this morning Bishop my God where or the reference sorry my God where we would refer to the gas station we would say my God we need to go to the gas station to service our cars my god we need and this is what the church services are for it is to service you it is to service me this morning praise, praise the, the name lord. of the lord and we praise thank god my god service us with what my god serve service us my god with the power my god empowering us with the word of god my god refreshing our spirits my god and refreshing our minds this morning praise amen so this morning we would like to get into some worship Praise the name of the Lord. And no stranger to you and I, my God, here to lead us in choruses this morning and in felt and in worship. My God is our very own Sister Shivon, Sister Kylie, and Sister Genevieve St. Rose. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise so the Lord. we invite you to share the life. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, and also ensure that your family members they are included in worship this morning. Praise ensure the that the children they are present, my God, and they are taking part. My God, in what is happening this morning. Praise, Praise the name the of Lord. the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
We give Praise her the honor, Lord. we give her the glory. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You deserve it, Lord. Hallelujah. You deserve it, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. this morning, my God, indeed, my God, Jesus Christ. 
He deserves all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise this morning. Praise, praise the name the of the Lord. The Bible teaches us this morning that he's not going to share my God, his glory with another this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. He is Lord of glory this morning. He is Lord of creation this morning. Praise, praise the name the of Lord. the Lord. And he deserves it. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord. This morning, believers, my God, as I mentioned to you, it's the first day of the week. My God, and what a blessing, what a privilege to be able to gather together. My God, to be able to have fellowship this morning with one another. My God, and even in the breaking of the bread of life. Praise this the morning, we thank God, my God, and I know for many of you, my God, you have testimonies as to the goodness of God this morning. Amen. This Amen. morning, my God, we have with us uh, oh, yes. sister, little sister Jade. Praise the name of the Lord. Clark, praise the name of the Lord. And as and have and. And as we all know, praise the name of the Lord for the past few weeks, for the last two weeks, sorry, my God, we have had the little ones incorporated, my God, into fellowship. My God, we heard from two of them, my Amen. God, in past in the last two Sundays, praise the name of the Lord. We heard from Sister Kimmy on last, praise the name of the Lord. That is uh, Catalia, Sister Catalia, praise the name of the Lord. And this morning we will be hearing or seeing my God from Sister Jade this morning. And she has a beautiful dance, oh, praise the name hallelujah. of the Lord. And as her mom, Deaconess uh, Yolan Clark said, she did the, cho the, the choreography, praise the name of the Lord, by on her own this morning. She did it, my God, on her own this morning. My God, when, my God, if you know the testimony of little Jade, God has brought her from a mighty long way. He has been faithful. He has been good to her. Praise the name of the Lord. So at this point in time, I would like to hand back over to the, our bishop, who is going to bring uh, the Clark family in this morning to bless our hearts. Praise the Lord. Just sit back and be blessed this morning. I know that Jade, praise the name of the Lord, intends to bless our heart this morning as Pastor Michel said with a spiritual dance. Praise the Lord. And we are in expectation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I just encourage you to be blessed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we praise you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, we Jesus. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. At this point in time, we'll give the family the opportunity to just open to unmute their mics as we praise the name of the Lord, usher into that dance. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. The Clark family, you can uh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, serve the king. We're all standing for the almighty. Three and four, spend no more. We're not gonna walk up on that path at all. Ladies, represent. Living right and you have one cent. Book smart, Bible talk. Christ in your heart and you're living. My crew never follow no clothes. Righteousness don't bleak like clothes. Sanctified on Jesus' cross. So we heal him up. Blow. Foundation in Christ now cut up. Consistency strong like black up. Jesus Christ is the highlight. If you with me, shine your light. We are flawless. Flawless in Jesus Christ. We are flawless. Flawless in Jesus Christ. It don't matter your skin color. It don't matter your hair texture. It don't matter who you are. Cause we are flawless. Some of us we struggle with beauty, insecure by the art figurines. We're perfection, it's not a factor, so we heal him up. Stop love right now is the answer. Can't forget my natural sister. No makeup, but pretty like flowers. Want to see the way that you are? We are. Flawless, flawless in Jesus Christ. We are flawless, flawless in Jesus. I 
Father, we give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the glory. Praise the Lord. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank my God. Yes, Lord. We thank Sister Jade for that beautiful rendition, my God, in dance. We are flawless this morning. Praise the Christ Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's the only way, my God, that we can be flawless. My God, that is in Jesus Christ this my morning. God, my Praise God. The Hallelujah. Name of the Lord. Because my God, he don't see you, but he sees the blood. My God, the price that was paid for each and every one of us. Yes, Lord. So yes, my Lord. God, Hallelujah. Even as the song, the words of the song says, your skin color don't matter. My God, your appearance don't matter. My God, your status don't matter this morning because we are all flawless. My God, in Jesus Christ oh, this yes, morning. Oh, yes. So Hallelujah. my God, Sister Ooh. Jade, my God, we thank you for that beautiful rendition and dance this morning. We are flawless. My God, in Jesus Christ. Praise my the Lord. God, and Bishop, what blessings, my God, what gift. My God, my God, we have my gifted God. children amongst amen, us. Amen, she, amen, her amen, amen. Mom said she did the choreography. My God, all on her own this she morning. All on Praise her own. the name of the Lord. And that's all the Spirit of God that oh. has been directing her. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, the Bible teaches that, my God, our gifts will make room for us amen, this morning. Amen, Praise amen, the name amen, of the amen, Lord. Amen, my God, amen. it is something that she amen. loves, and God is going to continue to expand her in it. My God, she also loves singing. Praise amen, the name of amen, the Lord. Amen. And I know God is going to continue to use her in a mighty way Amen. so we want to ta thank my god the clark family this morning deaconess yolan my god for working with her this morning praise the name of the lord, the lord. making sure that she's all prepared and ready for this morning we thank you again sister jade for blessing our hearts this oh, morning with you, a beautiful dance praise the name of the lord so my god believers my god a lot is taking place in our country and even around the world, my God, when we look, the signs of the times, they are more evident than ever. You know, the bird pangs for the return or the appearing of Christ, my God, is so evident. My God, you know, it's just this week, I was having a conversation with my husband, you know, and I was explaining to him, I said that, you know, when a woman is in labor, my God, you would realize that the initial stages of that labor, my God, the, the, the labor pains is not at as intense as it ought to be my god sometimes the nurses will tell you, you need to go back home and come back again because my god they are few and far apart but from the moment my god those labor pains become very close together and the pain is intensive my god you know that you are about to deliver that baby my god and jesus was using my god that comparison this morning even towards my god his second coming and even towards his appearing this morning and when we look throughout the world my god the world is on is at unrest this morning my god and you know uh, uh I, I i encourage you this morning to stay in touch with the news 
my God, stay in tune with what is happening. A lot is happening, my God. And you would realize that Bible prophecies, it is being fulfilled amen, before amen. our very it's eyes. Praise the, the name of the Lord. Amen. And in this time, even as the, the message that Bishop uh, preached, my God, on last Thursday, my God, we ought, my God, to walk circumspect my god redeeming the times that we are in we ought to walk in knowledge this morning not in foolishness of our own understanding and our own wisdom but my god my god depending upon my god the guidance the wisdom and the counsel of god to guide us this morning it's not how you feel about things my god it's not how i feel about things but it's where my god the spirit of god which is his word this morning is directing us this morning because remember the spirit knows but the soul feels this morning amen so this morning my god we would like to see where the spirit of god is pointing us to this morning where he's directing us this morning. I want to encourage you again to share the life. I want to encourage you to get your Bibles, my God, and get your notepads and take copious notes. Pay attention because there's always a message within a message this morning. There's always a rhema word. Sometimes God is speaking to an individual oh, this morning. Christ. My God, and he would use the man of God. He would use the woman of God to directly speak into your spirit this morning. Because my God, he knows what you are going through. He knows, my God, the, the decisions that are before you, that you are, my God, that you are confused. You don't know if to turn left or if to turn right this morning but god uses his words this morning my god to give to give us directive this morning my god he said a wise person will listen to counsel a wise person will take instruction this morning but a fool will despise it praise the name of the lord so this morning my god i want to admonish you my god open your spirit man because when the word of god is being preached this morning it is not really for the soul but it is to the spirit man the lord is speaking he's trying to connect with this morning because it's the spirit man my god that is able to make choice this morning to make a decision this morning praise the name of the lord my god the bible says that he that had an air this morning he that had that open up his spirit this morning to listen let him hear what the spirit of god is saying to the church this morning so believers it gives me great honor my god that even before i bring on the bishop i would like to thank god my god for all those that came out my god at the both churches, the, the, the Aruka branch and at the Lahokita branch on yesterday, my God, there will work, my God, that, that was taking place in both churches, my God, cleaning up, my God, painting and stuff like that. My God, from the Friday night, the Aruka uh, men, they were out there, my God, yesterday as well, uh, Saturday at the Lahokita church, my God, and I know, my God, it's not by chance, but, but it's by divine purpose. We are getting ready. We know, my God, that things will be reopened soon. So, my God, we are putting things in place, my God, to ensure that we are ready for the reopening, my God, of our church services, my God. And what a day that will be. It should be a, a day of thanksgiving. Praise the name of the Lord, whereby we can come together physically, my God, and lift up the name of Jesus whensoever that would be praise the name of the lord but for now praise the name of the lord we thank god my god for the technology that we have at hand whereby we can still connect praise the name of the lord and continue during the week at times praise the name of the lord with my god our services our bible studies deliverance service praise the name of the lord church at large amen so this morning believers it gives me great honor and great privilege to hand or to give unto you and to myself this morning, God's man servant that is going to break the bread of life, that is no less a person than our very own Bishop and Reverend Carl St. Rose. Praise, Praise, the, Praise the name of the, the Lord. Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pastor Michelle. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Let me greet each of you that are out there under the reach of our voice. Those of you who are streaming live, whatsoever part of the world that you might be, Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome with us into our beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Praise the name of the Lord. And we give God praise and thanks for you in a special way this morning. It's our worship service. 
Praise the name of the Lord. And I know that you have your Bibles with you this morning as we get ready to get into the Word of God. But before we get into the Word of God, let me again um, endorse Pastor Michelle's thanks to all um, men and women who would have been um, at the Lahokita Church and at the Aruka Church, right? The men that would have been at the Aruka Church from Friday night and also Saturday morning, I get also my opportunity to um, join, to be able to do some painting with the men on Saturday, on Saturday morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh boy, it was truly um, a wonderful um, privilege for me to do so because it's only what we do for God will last. You know, everything else that we do for ourselves, it will burn up. Everything that we do for ourselves will perish, you know, and um, it's only what we do. You know, the Bible teaches that we ought not to hip, to hip um, our treasures on the earth where mud and rust will corrupt it, where thieves can break in and steal it, you know, but we ought to more or less heap it up in the heavens. And you can only do that by doing for God. Amen. Know that, praise the name of the Lord, that is the only thing that will last for eternity because it will also give you a place in the kingdom of God, praise the name of the Lord, and it will also award you for eternity, praise the Lord. So I encourage you, please, don't ever, you know, these like these are like opportunities. When these doors are open to go by the church and work and that sort of thing, I don't like to miss these opportunities. I put off everything else because I want to be there. You know, Friday evening, the men had to go and do some power washing and that sort of thing. And I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't have been there because I had to go and get my second, my family had to go and get their um, second jabbed. You know, um, that is the second dose of vaccination dose for the COVID-19, you know, and I just could not have been there on Friday evening with the men, you know, um, but folks, I want you to know it is an honor. It is always a wonderful privilege when there is an opportunity to work for the Lord. Amen. And I encourage you, praise the name of the Lord, to work for the Lord. Only that is going to last. Remember what God has done for you. Remember what God is doing for you. And know, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, that when the opportunity comes for you to be able to do something for the Lord, don't hold back on Him. I want you to know that holding back on Him will only hinder your blessing. It will only, you will be rubbing yourself an opportunity of being blessed of the Lord. So I encourage you, please, when these opportunities come by, don't miss the opportunity. I thank God again for those soldiers who came out and and worked together, praise the name of the Lord, to um, begin painting the building, praise the name of prime. the Lord, or priming what they did is to prime the whole building because they're changing the colors of the building. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, God has been good even in the midst of a pandemic. And we at all time have to show um, appreciation and show God how much we appreciate what he has done for us. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And in doing so, he will always, God will always be good to us. We must always show appreciation, always show gratitude to God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. This morning, I thank God again for you in a special way. This morning, we want to go into the word of God. But as we get ready to go into the word of God, you know, we are in a time when a lot of people, um, when a lot of people internationally is struggling. We are in a time when economies, economies are being shattered and the um, leaders um, don't know what to do or where to turn. We are in a time when people have no other choice but to stay home. And the staying home, they are losing earnings. Some people are living on their savings. Some people are living on their savings. And we as Christians, and not only the Christians, you know, in um, in uh, among most all religions, you know, um, there, are a, there, there are systems there to be able to give to the work of whomsoever that religion might be. You know, for instance, the Muslims, they have zakat, and, you know, they have the rules that um, in terms of the seriousness of zakat, if a person don't pay zakat and that sort of thing, the Muslim believe that that person um, is not only robbing him or herself, but that person um, can be considered a dead person. 
you know, you have the, the Hindus. They make sure that they make their contribution towards, as you say, more as the religion. You have all the other religions that um, also we have the the Pentecostals, we the full gospel believers who believe in the Bible, full gospel believing in the Bible. We um, also have, um, we also have our biblical principle, biblical principle from the Bible for us to be blessed. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, that it is important that we acknowledge these biblical principles. I want you to note something, praise the name of the Lord, that, and I'm talking to all of you, whether you are in, the, in Trinidad and Tobago or you are somewhere else, praise the name of the Lord. I want you to know that there are, there, 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 there are principles to every promises, and the, every promise that is in the word of God, there are principles say. And if you don't see the principles, you cannot have the promise. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is the reason why, you know, um, we will see in the word of God, the Bible teaches our very faith without our work is dead. Praise the name of the Lord. Our very faith. You can have all the faith that you believe that you can have, praise the name of the Lord, in this world. Or faith that you believe that you can have in God. I want you to understand, if you don't understand the principles of, of the blessings of God, you will not have the blessings of God. So, um, you know what is happening? It is you have a lot of believers, a lot of believers who are going through this time, they are asking. You know, you have believers who are asking. Um, some people might have called, you know, Bishop. You know, they need more or less um, directions in certain things where um, we're giving unto God or tithing or receiving their blessings are concerned. And we have a duty to teach them, praise the name of the Lord. I said to one of our dear sister, I said to her, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be speaking on the principle of blessings, the principle of receiving, praise the name of the Lord. And you know, my God, you know, some people may say it is so insensitive for a preacher to preach on, on, on giving in, 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 in such a time. But I want you to know a person will only say that if that individual, if that individual is carnal minded. A person will only say that if that individual is not really, I should say, in the things of God or, or, the, or, or, or believe what we believe. Praise the name of the Lord. And we believe, my God, whether you are a Christian or you are not a Christian, we believe, praise the name of the Lord, that there is a principle to be blessed. And even the man who is not a Christian, he also acknowledged that principle. The business, my God, sector, you see, they put more or less a a program in place that they can give back. So my God, because they know that it's only if they give back, it will open the doors for returns. Praise the name of the Lord. It is. It will open the doors for return. So my God, so to be able to, 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 to receive returns, hallelujah, you have to give something because it is only what you deposit, you will be able to withdraw. Praise the name of the Lord. It is only what you deposit, you will be able to withdraw. It is only, my God, what you, my God, give out will return back to you. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we talk about returns, hallelujah, returns only come to what you, praise the name of the Lord, invested. Amen. You can only re, re, you can only receive returns from what you invested. And I want you to know when I talk about an investment, an investment, my God, when you invest, you invest into something, hallelujah, that will generate returns. Hallelujah. When you invest, you invest in something that will generate, praise the name of the Lord, that will generate profit. You're looking for profit. You're looking for my God. You're looking to be blessed. You don't, you don't, my God, you don't um, deposit or you don't, my God, you don't, my God, hallelujah. You don't give um, um, give out with, with with the intention of not being be blessed. Hallelujah. You give, hallelujah, expecting to receive the Bible said, give and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shaken together, running over, shall man pour into your bosom. Praise the name of the Lord. So one may ask, Bishop St. Rose, 
is it um um okay for me not to give in in time like these in time of a pandemic in time when things are so hard and and the economies are being shattered and the um people are home the little that i'm receiving and the little that i'm receiving bishop st rose is it the right thing for me to give i want you to understand praise the name of the lord hallelujah my god if anyone tell you differently if anyone tells you that is not in the, a good season for you to give i want you to understand then that person don't will uh, that person don't appreciate that is the only way hallelujah you will be blessed praise the name of the lord the little that you have praise the name of the lord the little that you have i want you to understand if you my god give to god is a percentage of that Hallelujah. I want you to understand God is God is able to multiply back to you. Hallelujah. My God, more than you expected. The Lord the Bible teaches us about the widow's might. And the widow, my God, she had one night. She had, my God, she had very little. And Jesus, hallelujah, who would have been the, Jesus, who would have been the, the, the treasurer, I should say, of his ministry, he, my God, he, he stood, you will see in the Bible, that when the people gave, Jesus used to stand over, my God, he used to stand over the treasury, the treasury, whatsoever, would dare to collect, my God, the, the offerings. Jesus used to stand over the treasury, and the Bible said he used to watch in the treasury to see what was being given. And this woman came, and the woman had one might. And the woman, because she had one might, and she could not have, have take out of that might, or split the might, or take a percentage of that might, the woman, she gave that one might, and she placed it into the treasury. And Jesus, oh my God, looked my God, and he saw what happened. And with all who were given, and they were given, my God, a lot because they had to give. But this woman gave all that she had, and that attracted the attention of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And Jesus, hallelujah, immediately, hallelujah, he stopped everyone from giving, and he began to make an example of the one might that the woman gave. And the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he began to tell them, no. He said, this woman, hallelujah, she gave all that she had. He said, you might be given, hallelujah, from the abundance of your heart. You are given because you have and you have a lot to give. But this woman, she gave all that she had. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus was pointing out to them how blessed this woman is. Hallelujah. Because she understand the principles of receiving. Amen. When you are able to tap in into that principle. And my God, all the other religions, they will tell you that. They will teach you that. Whatsoever religion it might be, praise the name of the Lord. They will teach you that when you are able to tap in, and even, my God, the business people, when you are able to tap in into, my God, the principle of receiving, then, my God, you will be blessed significantly. Praise the Lord. So today, it, you know, it is important that I speak to you, pr praise the name of the Lord, shortly that I speak to you on giving. I want to speak to you, hallelujah, on, on the doctrine of, of tithing because, you know, some people you hear, my God, you hear the critics out there, they say, you know, um, the churches, all that they're concerned about, it is uh, people monies and all this sort of thing. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God, um, in general, all of my God, who, whatsoever religion you might be, whatsoever God you might be serving, I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, our Bible teaches, our Bible teaches that money is answering all things. Amen. Without money, praise the name of the Lord, we cannot come on set like we are today. Without money, we cannot have the technology that we have today. Without money, 
without money we cannot we, we are not able my god to be to be able my god to give the gospel the way we want to give the gospel without money my god we cannot my god without money we will not be able to give charities as we give without money we will not be able to help people my god when they are in distress without i want you to understand the scripture teaches that money answering all things now praise the name of the lord for those of you who don't know me Bishop Carl St. Rose, I don't preach much on giving because what I do is teach my people and my people understand so that they will understand the principle of giving. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know, my God, that when people hear giving and money and that sort of thing, what goes through their mind and, and make them, my God, I want you to understand, my God, the, the hardest thing to get people to do, my God, in life. It is to give. Somebody, I want you to understand. I, I thank God because I understand the principle of giving. I am thank God that God has been good to me. I want you to, it don't mean that there are times that I, my God, it will seem as though needs will come, but my needs are being fulfilled and met. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, I live a life, as David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor see begging bread. Why? Because I learned the principle of giving. You know, I told my wife, even on yesterday, I look at, I will look in my God at a little documentary on on Facebook and I said you know baby my heart reached out and I had cries out when I see these things because it's my prayer my God that the Lord will bless me so that I will have much so that I will be able my God to give hallelujah I wish hallelujah that I have to be able to make every man on the earth rich but somebody praise the name of the Lord my God the little that I have I thank God that I am able to share it with others hallelujah so that God Lord, hallelujah, will continue to open doors unto me. Praise the name of the Lord. So somebody, we want to talk shortly. And my God, in this pandemic season, in this Gova season, as some people call it, in this season of farming, as others may call it, we want to talk a little bit about, about blessings and about giving. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if we stop doing so, praise the name of the Lord, as men of God, then we will render people, my God, to be in poverty. We will be encouraging people that, my God, we will be encouraging that people be not blessed. Hallelujah. So we need, hallelujah. We need to make sure that we continue, hallelujah, to teach and to minister the word of God. Praise the Lord. Let him praise the name of the Lord. Maybe come and relax on his praise the Lord because I'm um, hearing the um, squealing in the back. So let him get on his um, system. He have his own little system and let him um, praise the name of the Lord. Um, play with his and enjoy himself. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Bless the Lord. So we would like to talk about the doctrine of of of, of, of Titan, and the, the, and we want to talk about giving. Praise the blessings of God in giving, and the, praise the name of the Lord. But first of all, I want you to note, and for those of you who are taking notes, I know that you have your Bibles with me. That I'm Titan. It is before the law of Moses, because you hear a lot of critics out there, and you hear people that tell you that I'm Titan is a um, law. And people not supposed to tithe and that sort of thing. But tithing, and I want you to know, my God, it is before the law of Moses. It was practiced. Titus, tithing would have been practiced over four, 430 years before the law. Tithing, and for those of you who are writing, tithing would have been practiced over 430 years before the law. And uh, I want you to know, my God, that um, teaching of tithing is under the law. That is not biblical. And I want you to look at me um, 430 years before the law. Look at me in Genesis chapter 14 and verses 20. Genesis chapter 13, Genesis chapter 14 and verses um, 20. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm hoping that you have your Bibles with you. And I'm reading from the Bible. I'm taking my time because we are a teaching church. For those of you who don't know, praise the name of the Lord. We are a teaching church. Genesis chapter 14 and verses 20. And the Bible reads here in Genesis chapter 14 and verses 20. And blessed be the most high God, which had delivered thine enemies unto thine hand. And he gave him ten, he gave him 
tithe of all. Praise the name of the Lord. And he gave him tithe of all. Praise the name of the Lord. So you're seeing your Abraham, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord, tithe unto Melchizedek. And who was Melchizedek? Melchizedek represented, my God, the priesthood of that time. Amen. So Melchizedek, hallelujah, represented the priesthood of that time as the church represent, my God, as the church represent God's church in this time. Amen. So Mel, my God, Abraham was my God. Abraham belonged to the order of Melchizedek. And somebody, we today in the church, we belong to the order of Melchizedek also. Amen. Because Melchizedek is the priesthood that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came through. Amen. So Jesus Christ's lineage, hallelujah, it came true, my God, the, the priesthood of Melchizedek. Praise the name of the Lord. And Jesus belonged to the order of Melchizedek. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible said that Abraham, after coming from battle, and Abraham, my God, won the battle. Praise the name of the Lord. Abraham, he paid hallelujah tithe of all unto Melchizedek. And when it's the Bible said tithe of all unto Melchizedek, tithe there, it speaks about one tenth, or a tenth, by God, it speak about ten percent of all that Abraham would have been blessed with. Amen. Because the man he took the spoil, the man he was blessed. Hallelujah. He received much, and it was not uh, as a result of his ability. It was not as a result of his strength, but it was Hallelujah as a result of God standing with him and God bringing him true. I want you to understand that there are many, hallelujah, who have nothing at all, my God, in this time. But my God, a little that you may have, I want you to understand that God have been good to you. Amen. In the midst of, of whatsoever we are experiencing during this pandemic, I want you to understand, hallelujah, God is good to you. So Abraham, my God, he gave one, he gave one tenth, or he tithes. And times there, it speaks about one tenth of all that he had. Praise the Lord. If you look also at Genesis, praise the name of the Lord. And we are teaching this morning. Genesis chapter 28, praise the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 28 and verses and 22, praise the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 28 and verses 22. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 28 verses 22. And the Bible reads here and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are seen here, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Jacob, the man of God. And that is in Genesis chapter 28 and verses 22. And the Bible reads here, and this stone, and Jacob is saying to God, he said, and this stone, which I have set for a pillar, and this stone, which I have set for a pillar, shall be God's house. So Jacob here, hallelujah, was setting a place for worship. He was setting a place to meet with God. He was setting a place, hallelujah, and my God, he called it the house of God. Like we have, my God, we have our church, praise the name of the Lord, my God. And I want you to understand, we are the church of God, hallelujah, gather as the ecclesia of God, make in the building of God to do the business of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I said we are the church of God, gather as the ecclesia of God, hallelujah, in a building to do the business of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so Jacob, he said here, hallelujah, I've set for a pillar. Praise the name of the Lord. I've set up a building here now, a pillar, a, a spot. Hallelujah. So he said, shall be, he said, he said, which I have set up, he said, it shall be God's house and of all that thou shall give me. He's telling the Lord. And I want you to listen to this, whatsoever part of the world that you might be. Jacob is saying to the Lord, he said, and of all that thou shalt give me, all that you will give me, I will surely give the tent, I will surely give the tent, that is 10%, hallelujah, unto thee. So Jacob, my God, you know what I love about Jacob? Hallelujah. Jacob was a good negotiator. The man was a good negotiator. So Jacob is saying to God here, he's saying, God 
He said, I am going to set up this pillar and this pillar will be recognized as your house. It means all my family, my friends, my servants, hallelujah, and all that is under my stewardship, they will come right here and worship. He said, and when they come here and worship, he said, Lord, he said, oh, how much you give to us, we will give you back one tenth of that. Or we will give you back, he said, we will give you back the tenth. And he's speaking about 10%. You will see that in Hebrew. Hallelujah. We will give you the tenth of what you give to us. Praise the name of the Lord. So what we are seeing here, it is Jacob. He's negotiating with God. Praise the name of the Lord. He's saying, God, hallelujah. He's saying, God, hallelujah. If you give me one I'm give you, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you ten percent of that. What will, my God? What 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 what, what 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 we understand that to mean? He said, God, if you give me one dollar, then you will only get ten cents from it. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, God, if you give me two dollars, I am I will now be able to give you twenty cent. Lord, if you give me three dollars, I will be. I, I'll be able to give you more. I'll be able to give you 30 cents. If you give me $4, Lord, I'll be able to give you 50 cents. If you give me $5, then Lord, I'll be able, my God, if you give me $5, then I'll be able to give you 50 cents. If you give me $6, I'll be able to give you 60 cents. Lord, if you bless me with $10, hallelujah, if you bless me with $10, I will be able to give you $1. So this Jacob here is negotiating with God. And Jacob is saying, Lord, and somebody that is long before the that is long before the law. That is long before Moses come on the scene. We are seeing Jacob here is negotiating with God in relation to this 10% that my God and the churches ask for, hallelujah, for the business of God and to make sure that the business of God and the things of God is properly well run like what we are doing here this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. So my God, so Jacob, hallelujah, he understood the principle here. Hallelujah. And he was a good negotiator. God, if you are, if you give me, praise the name of the Lord, a hundred dollars, then Lord, I will be able to give to you, my God, I'll be able to give to you much more. Because, hallelujah, the more you give me, Lord, it is the more I will have to give back to you. Praise the Lord. You see, somebody, I want you to understand, Jacob, he knew that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Jacob, he knew, hallelujah, that the cattle that was upon a thousand hill, it belongs to God. Jacob, he knew that, my God, don't matter how much is his ability he knew that don't matter how much is his potential and to be able to do business and to invest. You can be a good businessman today and you lose everything tomorrow. There is a lot of businessmen who today tears are in their eyes because their business have been closed down for two years and they cannot make one cent. So my God, their business, it is no more. This is the reason why it is good to negotiate with God. It is good to put your business in God's hand because there are businessmen who are doing the same business as others who are closed down. And they, my God, there are businessmen who know how to give and God would have given them direction how to shift their business so that they can continue to make money, so that they can continue. Some of them, I want you to understand, God, hallelujah, have put things in place that, my God, they are still strong and going on. They may not be able to do all that they were doing before, but God, hallelujah, hallelujah, is going to continue to increase them. And when things, my God, come back the way, hallelujah, the, the economy is expected it to be, my God, they will be blessed tremendously more than they would have been blessed before. Hallelujah. Why? Because I want you to understand what you give to God will always last. What you give to God will always be remembered by him. Praise the name of the Lord. So somebody, Jacob, he was a good negotiator. 
So again, Jacob said, Lord, whatsoever you give to me, I am going to give you a tenth. I'm going to give you the tenth. He said, the tenth, meaning 10% of what you give to me. So you know, my God, you hear people, my God say, my God, tithing is under the law. Jacob was doing this 430 years before the law of Moses. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when you look at Hebrew, I want you to, to, to praise the name of the Lord, my God. When you look at Hebrew, praise the name of the Lord. The, the Bible speak about Melchizedek there in Hebrew, and I want to talk about that a little bit because we are teaching, and I don't want to go too fast because people throughout the world is listening to you. And my God, and I'm saying if you're not, if you're incoherent and you, you're not, my God, explaining what you believe from your from your Bible, what you believe in according to your teaching, then you will confuse them and you will give them good reason to criticize you. But I want you to understand, my God, you have to know what you believe and you have to know hallelujah, in whom you believe. Praise the name of the Lord. So in, in look at the book of Hebrews chapter 1 to 12. Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 1 to 12, and I'm reading from the book of Hebrews chapter 1, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, to 12, praise the name of the Lord, Father, we give you the praise, Hebrews chapter 1 to 12, hallelujah, praise the Lord, if you, if you, praise the name of the Lord, I want to say, if you have it, say amen, we are talking some heavy stuff here this morning, Praise the name of the Lord. Stuff that, by God, people sometimes don't like to hear. But I want you to understand it is important to teach people. Amen. So let us look at, at Hebrews chapter 7, verses 1 to 11. And praise the name of the Lord. And we are looking from verses 1. And the Bible reader, For this Melchizedek, king of Shalem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and he blessed him. Praise the name of the Lord. So, and, and Abraham blessed him. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. First being by interpretation king of righteousness. And after that also king of Salem. Which is a king of peace. Praise the name of the Lord. Without father, without mother, without descent. Having neither beginning or the, of days nor end of life. But make like unto the Son of God, abide the priest continually. Abide the priest continually. We can discuss Melchizedek another time. That is not our teaching this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. But that is a topic. It's a teaching. It's a big teaching because you'll be teaching or you'll be discussing the order of Melchizedek. So that is a, a teaching in theology. That is a lot to teach. And we can, we can teach you on that. Praise the name of the Lord. A little more for those of you who already know what you know. But we can teach you on that and even have our our Facebook friends to be not teaching an, uh, another time. But we want to continue to read from verses 4. Now consider, now consider how great this man was, unto whom every patriarch, Abram, or uh, 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 unto whom, sorry, even the patriarch Abram gave the tent of his spoils. Even the patriarch Abram gave the tent of his spoils. And every my God, so 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 what the Bible is saying, this man was a great man, and because he represented the, the, the Leviticus priesthood. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. He represented the Leviticus priesthood. He would have been the head priest, hallelujah, of the Leviticus priesthood, like unto Jesus. Come on, somebody. So like unto Jesus, come on somebody, Abraham, my God, he saw that man, hallelujah, as a, a as a, a, a image, hallelujah, a, praise the name of the Lord, Pastor Michel, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. So somebody didn't have the scripture, I want you to look at Hebrews chapter 7, verses 1 to 11, Hebrews 7, verses 1 to 11, I think one person's asking um, for the scripture that is Hebrews chapter 8. Chapter 7, verses 1 to 11, and we are reading, we are on verses 4, praise the name of the Lord, on verses 4 again, I'm reading verses 4 again because we are teaching, we are teaching ministry and we want you to be in your Bible to you, I feel good to know that you are in your Bibles, praise the name, now consider how great this man was, that is Melchizedek who represented Jesus. Now concerning how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abram, he gave a tenth of his spoil. So my God, so, so, so the man Abram, he saw Melchizedek, who was the high priest of the, the order of Melchizedek, or, the, or my God, or the Melchizedek priesthood, 
I, I saw him earlier as a great man. Come on, somebody. How do you see Jesus? How do you see Jesus? Is Jesus worthy of a tenth of all that we have? Or was Melchizedek worthy of it, but not Jesus? And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. We ought to understand the principle here. Come on, somebody. So, so let us look at verses 5. Praise the name of the Lord. Verses 5. And verily they that are of the son of Levi, and I want you to look at that. Leviticus priest said, I said, and verily they that are of the son of Levi, who receive office of the priesthood, have command have commandment to take tithes of people according to the law that is of their brethren who they come out of the loins of abraham so what my god what what, what paul is seeing it, it is the same principle that applied to melchizedek who was my god who was a, a type of jesus christ the same principle applies in the or among the Leviticus priesthood, and the same principle applies now. We're going to talk about that a little more because we're going to praise the name of the Lord. We want to go into the New Testament because people see this as an Old Testament thing, but we'll do that, praise the name of the Lord, in a short time. Maybe I may not be able to finish it today, but we will have to continue it. And I know that some of you um, will be looking forward to it. Even if we can't finish it today, we'll have to continue it on Thursday. Praise the name of the Lord. So verse 6. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham. So my God, he, so, so if, 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 if I, I want you to look at that, but my God, I love that. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham. So they're talking about Melchizedek, who descent is not counted, my God, among the, Levi the Levites, praise the name of the Lord, because he was the, the head of the, uh, 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 of, of, of the Melchizedek priesthood. My God, my God, Abraham recognized him as a type of Jesus, and Abraham paid tithes. So, so Paul is saying it, but he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham and bless him and bless him that had the promise. Look at verse 7 now. And without all contradiction, the least is blessed of the, of the better. The least is blessed of the better. Verse 8. And he and here, and I want you, my God, praise the name of the Lord. Verse 8. And here, Men that die receive tithes. So, so Paul is talking about Melchizedek here. He said, men that die receive tithe, but there he receiveth them of whom it is witness that he liveth. Come on, somebody. So um, Melchizedek, who praised the name of the Lord, was a man at that time. He's dead, but he was a type of Jesus Christ who now liveth. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I may so say, that is verse 9, Levi also, who received tithes, he paid tithes in Abraham. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. So what they're saying here, it is a Jesus, he came to the loins, or he came to the lineage, hallelujah, of that Melchizedek priesthood. And somebody, even my God, Melchizedek was a type of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, hallelujah, oh my God, that principle of Tithing, my God, to the priesthood of God, it had never changed. And I want you, we're going to go a little further because you will ask me, Pastor St. Rose, where in the New Testament said that we'll talk about it a little more. Praise the name of the Lord, but we are taking our time. And if you want to get all of it, you have to be in all the studies. Amen. So we praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking at the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are reading now verses 11. And I said we read up to verses 11. If therefore... Perfection will by the Leviticus priesthood, for under it the people received the law. What further need was there that another priest shall raise after the order of Melchizedek? So that is Jesus here we are talking about. 
Hallelujah. And I want you to look at that again. Let, 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 look at that again. What further need was there that another priest shall raise or shall rise after the order of Melchizedek? And not be called after the order of Aaron. Praise the name of the Lord. So we have seen here that Jesus, hallelujah, he came out or he came through the order of Melchizedek. He would have been the type that Melchizedek represented. And my God, and types were paid to Melchizedek for the work of God, for the business of God to be run efficiently. I want you to understand, my God, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, my God, I'm going back to say that same statement that I made in the beginning, hallelujah, that the Bible teaches that money is answering all things. Now, I want you to understand, listen to somebody. We got to be very careful about that statement because some people use that statement in the wrong context. Because I want you to know, you hear some people tell you that this preacher is saying that money answering all things. I don't believe that. My God, it is in the Bible. It is in the word of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And they go on to say that, my God, money is evil. How can this preacher say that money answering all things? Money is, is evil. The Bible don't teach that money is evil. The Bible teaches the love for money becomes the root of all evil. The love for it. It becomes the root of all evil. And that is what is happening here. You have, my God, you have people become corrupt because of money. People will take bribes and, and the, my God, and the, they will, and people will kill you because, my God, they want to get what you have. And all because of money. The love of money become the root of evil. That brothers and sisters this kill each other because of a property that my God, a property that have a certain amount of collateral. And that property or a will that have collateral, my God, they will kill each other. The love for money become the root of all evil. Preachers, they become corrupted because of money. My God, they love you because you can bless them. And they hate and they don't. My God, and they dislike another person because the individual have very little to give to them. So preachers has become corrupted. Why? Because the love of money, it becomes the root of all evil. Preachers, be, my God, get themselves into filthy lucre. And filthy lucre there, it means when somebody could bribe you to be able, my God, to, to get positions in the church, to bribe you, to be able, my God, to be able to get recognition in the church. I want you to understand that is a preacher that is in filthy lucre. I want you to understand men and women of God have become corrupted because of the love for money. I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord, my God. The, but the Bible teaches money, it answers all things. It means that there must be a certain level of discipline. You have the power to choose to become corrupted or not to become corrupted. You have the power, I want you to understand, my God. To, you have the, under, the power to do the right thing. If God is blessing you and you can be a blessing to God and to his church and to his ministry, you don't need anything from man. You don't need anything from man, my God, because your blessings, it comes from God. It is only what you do for God, it is going to last. Hallelujah. So praise the name of the Lord. So Melchizedek was a type of Jesus Christ. And tithe was paid to him and, and Melchizedek is dead. Jesus is alive. My God, is not Jesus, my God, much more or greater than, my God, than Melchizedek who walk and live on the earth? I want you to understand is an empty grave in Jerusalem showing that Melchizedek who walked and lived on the earth, my God, and, and rose from the dead. I want you to understand, hallelujah, there is an empty grave that shows that Jesus Christ, my God, he burst the tomb and he was risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Is that Jesus much more than Melchizedek? So my God, I want you to understand we are talking about Praise the name of the Lord. That 
Tithing was long before the law of Moses. You see, tithing was always commanded of God or by God. It was a command from God. Look with me in Leviticus chapter 27 and verses 30. We are teaching, praise the name of the Lord. I hope that you're enjoying the teaching. I hope that you're with me. You can give a thumbs up. If you are enjoying it, my God, if you are understanding what we are teaching, you can give a thumbs up so that I can see your thumbs. I can know, pray that you are with me. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing you there. And I thank God for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I praise God for you. I'm seeing those thumbs. Hallelujah. That letting me know that you, hallelujah, are in it. You are part of it. You are studying with us. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to, my God, praise the name of the Lord. We are looking now, I told you, at a tithing was commanded by God. Look with me in Leviticus chapter um, 27 and verses 30. You have it, say amen. Chapter 27 and verses 30. I'm reading from verses 30. And all the tithes of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. All is the Lord's. I want you to look at that there. You will see the Lord's apostrophe S. It meaning, uh, my God, it belongs to God. It don't belongs to you. It means all that God give you, all that God bless you with, all that God, uh, and I said to you, yeah. hallelujah, I said to you, praise the name of the Lord, that my God, the very things that you have from God can become no more, my God, in the space of a second. You can wake up in the morning and realize that it's all gone. Somebody, are you listening? This is the reason why you all to put it in the hands of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible says here, hallelujah, oh, of the fruit of the tree, it is the Lord's. It belongs to God. It is holy unto him. It means my God. The tent of all that God has given, God has commanded that a tent of that, it belongs to me. I am going to multiply it back unto you. Give it unto me and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shaken together, running over. My God, God shall men pour into your bosom. Things that you least believe that you would have been blessed and increased by. God is going to increase the little that you have. God is going to multiply and cause it to become much. Hallelujah. 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 But it's all about understanding that it belongs to God. It, it don't belong to man. It belongs to God. Praise the name of the Lord. If you look, my God, at I, I want you to look with me at, at, at praise the name of the Lord at Mike, uh, and we we'll look at, at at Malachi. Come on, Malachi chapter three. Praise the name of the Lord. We are looking at Malachi chapter three, and we are looking praise the name of the Lord at Malachi chapter three from verses eight. On the verses 12, praise the name of the Lord. Verses 8 on the verses 12. My God, Titan was all, always commanded of, by God. My God, and I want you to understand, as I said to you, it is over 430 years before the law. So don't let nobody tell you that Titan is, uh, my God, is um, Moses' law, and, and Moses' law is done away with, and all these conspiracy theories, but no scriptures to back it up. I want you to understand, my God, you allow, what, anything that people tell you, prove all things and hold fast to the one that is good. Don't let nobody rob you your blessings. Don't let nobody take from you what God has given to you. Understand the principles, hallelujah, of keeping it. And the principles of keeping it, it is when you know that out of what God has given to you, you take, uh, my God, God, part of it that is holy unto God and put it there for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because why? It is holy unto God. It's the Lord's. It's not yours. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, listen to me, somebody. People can, my God, you know the world. Come on, somebody, have their own conspiracy theories. But my God, they are not Christian. My God, the world is not Christians. 
Jesus came to die. God said, for I love the world and I give my only begotten son. But I want you to understand, we Christians, we ought to know, don't let my God, the world be blessed in, 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 their, in their doing and you are not blessed. Hallelujah. Understanding the principle that, that will cause you to be blessed in the midst of a pandemic. I want you to understand, in the midst of a pandemic, you still have to give to God. I praise the name of the Lord. You don't stop giving. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 3 verses from verse 8, you have to say amen. Oh my God, I'm feeling this thing. I hope, my God, I'm feeling this thing. I hope it's a good feeling. Oh, Father, we give you the praise. I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord. The Spirit knows. Hallelujah. And I know that the Spirit of God is talking to somebody this morning. Yes, the Spirit of God is talking to somebody. My God, it may not be someone in the new Christian ministry, but it might be someone somewhere, some part of the world. And you're struggling, my God, with that principle. That fully understanding but you're beginning to understand it this morning hallelujah oh god blessing be upon you sister god bless you sister god bless you praise the name of the lord hallelujah father we give it the praise thank you jesus hallelujah so we are reading from verses eight we said tithing and my god tithing and my God, this is a, my God, this is the last script that we will have to touch on this morning. So I tell you, if you don't come back on on Thursday, you missed it because I'm going, my God, head on. Praise the name of the Lord. On Thursday, we continue to talk about tithing. Praise the name of the Lord and about being blessed by God, by God in this pandemic. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, Malachi 3 verses 8 to 12. We are talking about it has been commanded by God. Look from verses 8. The Bible reads here from verses 8. Will a man rob God? A Christian acts and God is speaking here. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, but he say, wherein have we rob thee? You have robbed me in tithes and in offerings. So my God, so we are talking about God here, not, not the pastor, not the, the preacher. Come on, somebody, the pastor, the preacher, they have a responsibility to make sure that they teach him. And to make sure, my God, the tithes come in so that they can do the business of God. Oh my God, the, the Bible teaches, my God, my God, any man that will begin, who man will that will begin to build a house and will not come the course first? You're building a house and you, you have no money to finish the house and everything stand up there and grass grow over it and my God and everything that they put on there it rotten down because you start a bill at decking and the wood remain there and the wood rotten down and your neighbors look at you and they laugh at you why because you don't my God have the money to finish it when you're building a house you've got to come to course God put things in place to make sure that this house is being taken care of my God the bills my God it must be paid the maintenance of the building must be maintained. My God, according to the word of God, my God, priests and people who preach the gospel ought to live by it. My God, people, my God, who preach the gospel and not working and, and have their own, they supposed to, my God, be properly well taken care of. The God, I want you to answer, it is in the word of God. Come on, somebody. God has put all that is necessary to make sure that it's being done. He has placed you there in the ministry. He has given you and he's going to bless you He'll make some of you millionaires. Some of you, my God, you will have much more than you expected to have. Not because he wanted to build bigger bands. Not because he wanted to expand your, your warehouses so that you could hold more. He's opening up and blessing you so that you will have much to give this house. So that God can continue to increase you. So that you will never stop having. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Somebody, I'm excited because you know why God has been good to me. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are reading, my God, the Malachi chapter 3 from verses 8. I'm reading. We are going back to 8 again. I want you to go back to 8. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? Hallelujah. He goes on to say, in your tithes and in your offering. He goes on and I want you to look at verse 9. Come on, somebody. Look with me in verse 9. He a curse with a curse. For you have robbed me even this whole nation. 
He saying, my God, not only the people that belong to the order of Melchizedek, not only the people that belong to my household is robbing me. My God, they're getting, I'm blessing them and they're not giving back to me. I'm blessing them and sometimes for them to just make a commitment to, 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 to bless my house, a commitment, my God. They may not have money, but all that I'm asking for is, my God, a sacrifice of their service to give to me. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, my God. God is saying, my God, even the people who are in my ecclesia, they are robbing me and the whole nation, they are doing it because, my God, when the nation, my God, that I skipping in the midst of pandemic and that I am opening up doors and causing them to receive 800,000, my God, vaccine for their people and causing them, my God, to receive my God, to receive the, 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 the right, my God, knowledge and idea to administer this vaccine and causing and keeping their people away from dying, my God, like flies, as hundreds and thousands and millions are dying in other countries. My God, God is saying, my God, even the nation is robbing me, hallelujah, because they're not seeing that I have to give back. I have to give back and listen to me somebody. Yeah. Oh my God, blessed be any government yeah. that will give my God churches. Yeah. My God, that will give churches so that they can give to the people that have need. Come on, somebody. Yeah. My God, we are not we were not fortunate to get my God anything. Yeah. We were in, in terms of uh, I'm talking about in terms of of of, of um in terms of of, of of subventions to be able to help yeah. my God people in this time, yeah. but a little that we have as a ministry, my God, we are stretching it and trying to help as much as we can help. Praise the name of the Lord. And God has been good to us as a ministry because you know why? We give charity, we give back. Praise the name of the Lord. So somebody, God will always be good to new creation ministry. We are not depending on the government, but I want you to understand if the government bless new creation ministry, I'm not saying that, that governments have not blessed new creation ministry. Yes, this government, other governments have blessed new Christian ministry in the my God and we thank God for that and God has been good to them yeah. but I want you my God governments before my God have blessed us and my God the lands that has been allocated to us it is because my God of God used governments to do so yeah. but somebody I want you to understand praise the name of the Lord yeah. that my God those governments yeah. will be blessed and shall always be blessed yeah. but somebody hallelujah we ought to be at the example yeah. because you see God is saying, will a man rob me? He said, you have robbed me. My God, but look at verses. My God, nine, hallelujah. He said, you are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. So nations who bless God will always be blessed. People who bless God with a little that they have and put aside a little and say, God, this is yours. My God, God is going to bless them, hallelujah, because the principle of, 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 of receiving is when you learn how to give. The Bible teaches that God, he gave a seed unto sowers. God will only give seed unto those who he know will sow back. Hallelujah. Because he knows sowers understand the principle of sowing and reaping. Hallelujah. Sowing and reaping is a powerful law. My God, you don't have a grain of corn and eat the one grain of corn and pass it out in the toilet. If you eat the one grain of corn that you have and pass it out in the toilet, it is finished. It is done. There is no, my God, there is no investment there because they eat the run grain of corn. But if you want to invest a grain of corn, you will invest it into the soil. You will place it into good soil and you will cause that grain of corn to grow and burst forth. And that grain of corn will bring you many heads of corn. That is the principle of sowing and reaping. It is the principle of sowing and reaping. My God, you will receive many heads of corn so that you can continue to plant more, so that you can continue to reap more. God, the Bible teaches God, he gives seed on the soils. God will. God knows you. He knows everything about you. He know how. He know how how liberal you are, and he know how stingy you are. 
He know how stingy you are and he know how liberal you are. He will only bless you if he know that you, my God, he love a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. It is one, my God, who will be happy to give. And he know people who get angry. They get so angry to give. And my God, when they give to the Lord, they, they, they worry about how much to give. And if I had to give it, and if my God, and if I go ever receive anything back. I want you to understand, my God, there is a principle of believing God as a sower that when you sow into the ground that your, my God, your seed will grow and bring fruit. Hallelujah. Why will you sow in the ground that believing that is going to bring you fruit? Why? It is better, it is better eat the seed. It's better you eat that one seed and, and, and let it go down the toilet and remain poor. It is better eat that one seed and let it go down the toilet and remain, my God, remain in, in wants and needs and, 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 and problem. And, and my God, I want you to understand, listen, sometimes, my God, all the little that you have only go, my God, it, it, it goes in, in, in hospital bills. All the little that you have, my God, you're, you're, you're struggling to have food on your table. You're struggling to have clothes on your back. The little that you have, you know, my God, one writer say, one writer teaches, my God, that there are some people, their pockets are like strainers. My God, when when the, the, the pockets are like strainers, and what does that mean? It means, my God, that their pockets, my God, when, when they, they receive money, it, it just blow away. They don't know where it's gone. Why? I want you to understand, listen to somebody, because they have not put it in the hands of God. The little that you receive, you must give back to God. Don't matter how small it might be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You give back to God. God is going to multiply. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise. Oh, yes, we are. We are still in, in Malachi chapter 3, and we are reading verses 10. Praise the name of the Lord, verses 10. God said, bring, and you know, I want to go back to verses 9 a bit. Let us go back to verses 9 again. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even the whole nation. I want you to understand, listen to me, Martin. My God, listen to me. And sickness that will cause a person to, all the money they have to spend it in, on, on sickness every month, it persists. I want you to understand, my God, that of itself, the man and cannot pay their bills as a result of that. That is a curse. It is a curse. I want you to understand, listen to somebody, giving to God break these curses because God is going to make sure that you have enough to take care. Listen, when it seems as though, my God, you don't have enough to pay your bills, he's going to bring or open a door so that the opportunity is going to come for you to pay that bill. Amen. David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. And when he said righteous, if you look at that word righteous, it means those who are walking righteous. See, if first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all the rest shall be added unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed of begging bread. Praise the name of the Lord. The place here, all I'm in that condition, it's making a little hot. Praise the name of the Lord. So you'll see me a little um, sweaty, but um, please bear with me. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Folks, just pass me something there to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it is, my God, it is learning to be a blessing so that you can be blessed. Amen. Now, <laughs> my God, curse. Curse can be removed, can be taken away. Curse can be no more. My God, when you learn, hallelujah, how to be a blessing to God. God, you see, I want you to understand, my God, curse, it brings about pandemic. For instance, what pandemic? What pandemic has brought about? Pandemic brought about, my God, economic stress. Pandemic brought about economic trouble. And my God, in homes, individuals, homes, Pandemic as my God, people are devastated as a result of pandemic. This pandemic is a curse. It is a curse. And somebody, I want you to understand, my God, for that curse to be over with, for that curse to be done away with. I want even in your life, you know, my God, you can we know, praise the name of the Lord, that 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 God 
is responsible for covering our homes and that sort of thing. I'm not telling you, I don't want you to understand, but we ought to walk, we ought to cover. As much as God is covering us and covering our homes, we ought to walk, my God, in wisdom. What is wisdom? And I don't want you to take this for one moment to believe that I'm telling you that, my God, everything is just all right with you if you don't do what you're supposed to do. And what I'm saying, doing you what you're supposed to do, praise the name of the Lord, you have a, a duty, my God, to know right and wrong. And even in your choices, you have a moral duty in your choices. And a moral duty in your choices means that your choices must not be just for the individual, but it must be for the community as a whole. I want to say the community as a whole. You know, um, as a practitioner in the court, as an uh, advocate in the court, um, one of the things that I learn, praise the name of the Lord, as an advocate in the court, it is that um, there is a, a, a law, or there is a, a clause there in the act that, that I use most of the time in the court, and that is the Industrial Relations Act in Trinidad and Tobago. For those of you who are in other countries, the Industrial Relations Act in Trinidad and Tobago. And that clause stayed there in the act that if a judge is making a judgment, a judge is making a judgment, the judgment must not only take into consideration the individual, but it must take into consideration the community as a whole. And what does this mean? That it must take into consideration the community as a whole. I just want to draw a reference. I'm just drawing a reference. If you, the individual, believe to yourself that you know what is happening here, see me? For no reason or because I'm hearing this and I'm hearing that and I'm hearing the other, I'm not taking the vaccine. But you're saying that because of the conspiracy theories, you're not taking the vaccine. But your doctors is not telling you that. Your doctors should know that you're held. The, 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 um, the WHO is not telling you that. Who is the, the World Health Organization? Is not telling you that it is unsafe for you to take the vaccine. Your personal doctor is not telling you that, that you are, that is unsafe for you to take the vaccine. But you, my God, because of your individual self, you see me? I go wear my mask all my life. I don't have to travel, no way. So I ain't really to care about taking the vaccines. I want you to understand, listen to somebody, that of itself is an immoral, it's an immoral choice. And the reason why it is an immoral choice, a moral choice is one that is properly well taught out and understand. Because if you understand, my God, even your very Bible, your very Bible tell you that God cannot do anything for you unless you work. Faith without work is dead. And my God, I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord. It is an immoral choice. And we are looking at that um, clause in the IRA that states there that a judgment must take the community as a whole. It simply means, I want you to understand, you don't just think about you because of conspiracy theory. I am not taking the vaccine. You think about your children. My God, so many children getting the vaccine, getting um, um, sick right now. You think about your grandparents mother and your grandfather that is living in the same house. You think about making sure that your home, my God, it is a vaccine like any other vaccine that you want to get as a child, that you had to get to go to school, that you had to get for your children for them to go to school. And you, an intelligent person now, is saying here what is happening here. The vaccine that I the, the, the vaccine that I took over the years, this is a different vaccine, so I'm not taking it now. And you're saying this with no kind of understanding. You have no, no, nothing to support it, nothing to back it up. I want you to understand it is an immoral decision. And you can tell anybody that this preacher said that because, my God, if a person goes to their doctor and their doctor, as the prime minister said, the prime minister said, I went to my doctors, my doctors, I am a heart case. I just recently had a heart surgery and my doctors told me that it was not time to take vaccine yet.
Yeah. But my doctors, both international yeah. and local, told me now is the time for me to take it. Yeah. So I am. I went and take the vaccine. That is a moral decision. Yeah. When we talk about, or when you study, if you study the laws of free moral agent, yeah. if you study the laws yeah. of free moral agents, yeah. my God, if you study the laws of, yeah. of, 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 of the rights of an individual as a free moral agent, yeah. you will understand that your rights must be moral. If your rights is immoral and it could affect the community yeah. and it could affect my God, it could affect those who are wrong you, it can cause them to get hurt. You must understand my God that your, your rights can only become moral if your rights, my God, is going to hurt you. If, 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 if taking the vaccine is going to, my God, you have some sort of blood disorder. A person with a blood disorder needs Need to make sure that they get advice from their doctors before they take the vaccine. You don't go and take the vaccine knowing that you have a blood disorder. But persons who have comorbidities, my God, it's safer for them to be vaccinated than not to be vaccinated. Because there are people who have comorbidities and my God, they have die they do they are not here to tell the story i've seen friends and loved ones one my god one gentleman that i love dearly my god i have to call him in the morning and in the evening two times a day because i want to keep him in good spirit to be able to rise above the vaccine to be able to rise sorry above the the, the virus and my god i thank god that he my god but somebody he reached a place and he will he can testify to that. He reached a place that he could not have breathed. He reached a place that there was no oxygen. Somebody, I want you to understand, listen, this thing is a serious thing. But you know something, my God, to the is high spirited and, and the prayer night and day and talking to him to hold on. Know that our God is a big God. God brought him to but somebody, I want you to know, I don't want that. I don't want that to happen to no one. I have seen, my God, I've seen a lot of believers die, perish as a result of my God just having faith and not putting their faith to work and making sure that they take care of themselves. It is just as having diabetes and the doctors tell you that you need to be on a diet and you're still eating rubbish. It is just my God. It is just like my God having high blood pressure and the doctor is telling you and you have tablets to use for your high blood pressure and you're saying that I have faith in God. I'm not using the doctor's tablet. I want you to, um, the doctor's tablets, I want you to understand you will be a statistic. You will be my God. You, my God, will be another name that is being called among the deceased. I want you to understand, listen to me, you ought to get serious and make my God right decisions. Talk to your doctor and you are not a doctor to make any decision, my God, in terms of your health. And somebody may say, I'm a God, well, go to God. God is pitying you. You're coming to me and ask me something that you're supposed to know what to do. You're supposed to know what to do. I bless your country with 800,000 vaccines for you. I bless them for you in the midst of when many countries cannot get it. But you are saying you don't want it and you're coming to me to ask me. It is like going and ask the Lord. It is like going and ask the Lord, my God. You take a woman for yourself, a wife unto yourself, and you're going and ask the Lord, if my God, the Lord, is this, is this the woman for me? Sometimes we does not want to hear what the Lord will tell us. I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody. You have to know what is best for you. You have to be able to assess that person and know if it is good for you. You have seen many people take the vaccines. Somebody, my, my discussion is not on vaccine. My discussion is on, is on Titan. Why am I going there? Why am I going there? You know, I don't like that because I am I, I'm a teacher and, and I like to say, but my God, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let this just close off. You want to close off? I'm getting a little emotional. Let's close off. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. On verses 10. 
Bring ye all the tithes unto the storehouse, that there may be meat in the house, and prove me, knowing, and prove me, hearing, say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out the blessings that you are not able to receive it. And I want you to pause there. We're going to start back there. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 10. Praise the name of the Lord. We'll start back there on Thursday. So you can put a marker there. Praise the name of the Lord. Just mark that. Praise the name of the Lord. So on Thursday, we will start back from there. So we will go into, I'm getting a bit emotional and I think I'm getting a bit emotional because of um, the necessity. You see, come on somebody, I'm a man of God and I've been hearing from God for many years and um, and um, the Spirit knows, you know, and when the Spirit begins to be like this, it means I uh, want you to understand that the Spirit is saying something. And believers, I encourage you, I want you to understand, be a man, a woman of wisdom, a woman of faith and uh, putting your faith to work. And there is a lot of opportunities out there. Praise the name of the Lord. Get make sure. And I want the world to know wherever you might be, whatever country you might be in. Praise the name of the Lord. As long as everything is okay with your health and you have no blood disorder. And uh, my God, and your doctors give you, my God, a clean bill of health to be able to go and take the vaccine. Please get up, rise up and go and take the vaccine. Not just because you hear some conspiracy theories that cannot be backed up, my God, with substantial evidence, my God, but because you know it is best for you as an individual and it is also even better for the community as a whole. Praise the name of the Lord. Think about your children and children, children. Think about your economies going down and crashing and your children tomorrow on the street begging bread. I won't think about it. And my God, and see if not refusing to take a vaccine that is a 99.9 point something percent, my God, of less risk than getting COVID-19, my God, and, 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 and bringing, and also bringing your children to nothing. My God, you think about it and get up and do the right thing. Tell people this preacher tell you that. You can go any part of the world, whatever part of the world that you are. Let them know that Bishop sent those from Trinidad and Tobago. My God, admonish you. Get up and take the vaccine as long as your doctors have given you that clean bill of health. And as long as you are aware that you have no blood disorder, if you have comorbidities, then you should even being more haste of taking the vaccine because it's people who have comorbidities that die more than those who don't have and it seems to be getting to our children now and our children are thank god that the prime minister said that we are getting some vaccine for children that will only be for the children try we don't i have not heard from our local authority when the next set of vaccine will be coming for adults and um, to trinidad and tobago and we only have 800,000, and 800,000 can only vaccine 400,000 persons. And you have 1.4 million, 1.4 million citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. And my God, it means that we don't have vaccine for close to six, the, the close to, to 0.6 of a billion of our of our of our, of our, of our, of our population so somebody you work out the mats work the mats out get up and do like the prime minister did in the midst of his condition and go and get yourself vaccinated whatever country you might be i encourage you to do the same praise the lord at this point in time we will want to cut off our Facebook friends, and as we get ready to cut off our Facebook friends, I want to thank God for you being with us as we look at part one of tithing, or of being blessed through tithing, and I want you to come on with us on Thursday. On Thursday, we are coming with our swords 
blazing as we continue to talk on on giving and on tithing. On Tuesday, we also will be in Bible studies. We will place that on on YouTube and we will have it place it on Facebook, but we don't go live in our Bible studies. But you will get the clipping. And we thank God again for our Facebook friends. Those of you on the outside on Facebook and praise the name of the Lord. And um, I about to cut off um, Facebook and uh, praise the name of the Lord. Um, so you can feel free to come in. That is those who just could not have been because I prefer and and I know you can I prefer for you to be both places, both and or if not Facebook, make sure that you are in our Zoom meetings. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are about to cut out our Facebook friends. But before we do so, let me pray with our Facebook friends. Praise the name of the Lord. Father in heaven, dear Lord, we lift up our Facebook friends and all our members that are on Zoom. Lord, we pray, oh God, your blessings upon them. I want you right now to just hold your tithes and your offerings in your hands. I know that today the Bible teaches on the upon the first of the week, the disciples come together to lay in store as the Lord has prospered them. So God has been good to you and you have that which you want to give back to God. Praise the name of the Lord. You heard the word of God and you, praise the name of the Lord, want to be a blessing. Praise the name of the Lord. Be a blessing to the business, to the work of God. Praise the Lord. Can you just lift also your offering like this? Father, we ask your blessings. We ask your blessings upon God, your people. Almighty God, you have given seed to sowers. And Father, oh God, are they about to sow. Almighty God, we pray that it will multiply back to them. Father, bless them in their going out. Bless them in the coming in. Whatsoever they put their hand to do, Father, we pray that it will prosper. Father, we open every shut door and we take back all that which the enemy has stolen from them. Father God, prepare them tables in the presence of the enemy, that the enemies will see and know that you are a blessing to them. Father God, nets that are being set for them, let the enemy fall into their own nets. Pits that are being dug for them. Powerful God, nets that are being set for them, let the enemy be caught by their own nets. Pits that are being dug for them, let the enemies fall into their own pits. And Father, let your name be glorified. Holy Father, we thank you for victory in their lives. Be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody shout. And everybody shout. And everybody shout. Amen, amen, amen. I want to praise the name of the Lord. We are going to cut off our Facebook friends. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are cutting off our Facebook friends. And we encourage you again to be with us as we continue this teaching on giving. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we praise you. Hallelujah.